and y'all stay in tune with it because I have never seen a clamoring of the Rat Pack in front of the table here. I, I, guess, I guess people like shoes. Uh, I think people shoes, like the. F- they like they like uh, plants. You know, like trees. Hey, a lot of you botanical. Know, you know, a lot of, a lot of botanical folks. conversations happening. Absolutely. You know, good, good stuff over here. Yeah. Absolutely. We have very we're, we're big into the horticulture. Big special, into the horticulture. Special sneak of the week this week. I don't even know where to begin. We're going to break up right here on the table. We're <laughs> going to break it up. The history of 420 inspired sneakers, That's which has kind of had had an underlying theme in the sneaker world for about. Nearly a decade now. Well, it is 419, okay? Now, Andrew is not even concerned with what you're talking about right now. He wants those hemp Kobe's if they ever make them on his feet. It's going to overtime. Wow. All right, Rockets going to overtime. You may need to queue up the Bee Gees for me staying alive there, Guns. They are staying alive, man. You already know. Uh, and, Kadomi, you're staying alive. And we are getting closer and closer to the h Town Sneaker Summit, which will be at Reliant on July 29th, there you 2012. Go. Staying alive, baby. Staying yeah, alive. Going over time. That's right. That's right. All right, Kadoma. Well, let's get right into it. I know we don't have a lot of time here. But, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. A uh, very special sneak of the week. We'll be breaking up the history of 420 kicks uh, here very soon. But I wanted to give a quick review of my Nike Fuel Band. I finally got my hands on one of these hot commodities that I have on my wrist here. Nike Fuel Band's a sexy new technology, very hard to find, sold out everywhere. I finally managed to get my hands on one. Uh, kind of looks like a regular silicone wristband, kind of like a Livestrong band, the yellow Lance Armstrong bands that everyone's seen. But it has a LED display underneath, which shows time, uh, steps you take throughout the day, like a pedometer, calories burned throughout the day, and also fuel points, which is Nike's way of managing how active you are throughout the day. Now, if you add up uh, all the fuel points, do you get free sneakers? Uh, I don't think they've gone that far yet, but it is pretty cool. Nike, if you're listening, hey. Hey, it's, an, it's, idea. An, it's an idea, and they're getting into technology, as we'll get, get into here in a bit on the seg. But, uh, you know, I stay in the gym. A lot of you guys know that. I try to get my workout on, try to get my truck buck on. That's you right. Know, trying That's out right. for the Troll Gladiators here in 2013. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm, but I'm not sure if the Nike Fuel Band's really uh, conducive to my training methods since, you know, I lift mostly weights and do some cardio. Uh, it has an accelerometer in it, which needs a, kind of like a range of motion. So I think, like, if you're running, playing basketball, skateboarding, dancing, whatever, it probably registers a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, it's still pretty cool. Wyo was asking me if I hit my goal today. I'm at about 2,500. My goal is 3,000. Well, you're supposed to be able to tweet your results on Twitter. And yes. you can follow us on Twitter at Sports Rap Live. That's Rap with two Ps. Or at Kadoma, K-A-D-O-M-A, at Antinez, A-N-D-T-I-N-E-Z, or at DJ Guns. That's right, and I've had I've had a little trouble syncing with Twitter, syncing with Facebook. It seems to be a little bit buggy, being that it's a new technology. I think it has uh, one of those iPhone 4 antennas in it or something. Mm-hmm. You know, the yeah. ones if you hold it wrong, it, it, you don't get any reception. Siri said, uh, uh-uh. But the people at Nike Fuel on Twitter have been very helpful. They're going to help me get this thing restarted. Uh, but being though, you know, maybe it's not the perfect device for me. It's still a kind of cool little gadget. I find myself checking it out a lot. It's somewhat uh, motiv- motivational. I'm probably going to hang on to it for a little bit more until I get like that Twitter and Facebook uh, sync going to see what that's like. I do have the iPhone app on my phone, which is really cool. It basically gives a uh, more sexy layout of the, all the things displayed on the band itself. So, Is that at the end of the day? You kind of check the results? Uh, you can check it throughout the day. You can sync throughout the day too. So Very nice, very nice. Well, speaking of Twitter, Nike Store launches the Twitter RSVP. Yeah, we need to cue the Shuligan siren for Uh-oh, that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. It ain't 420 yet, but I hear, I hear, I, I hear something coming. I, I hear it coming. Yes. Uh-oh. For, oh. for all those that tune into the second sneak of the week, you know the Shuligan siren is very rare here. I hear and it. It's uh, you know hide your wife, hide your children. The Shuligans are coming out, but oh Nike finally broke down 
after the Concord 11 madness this Christmas and the Galaxy Foam riot <laughs> in Orlando during the NBA All-Star game. Uh, so basically, you know, I think they're at the tipping point. They had to do something for these in high demand releases before they exper experience an incident that's going to be hard to recover from. Huh. So now they've implemented a Twitter RSVP for all their Nike uh, chain stores. So you're no longer allowed to camp out outside of a Nike chain store. You have to RSVP for a pair of shoes on Twitter when they announce their availability. Let me let me cut this up at the pass. Yes. Fail whale. Alright. <laughs> fail whale. Let me get a whale. VIP to wait. <laughs> They're trying to do something to quell the right. camp out and riot madness before the drop of the ye of a shoe like the Yeezy Twos on just the horizon. Say, so they have so hey, they, they, I'm they gonna get my computer writing up uh, the computer program buddies together and we're going to write a program to where we can RSVP the first 2000 and we can all get easy so. yes <laughs> I'm with that I'm That's with that crazy, man. but so, you know this is only at Nike chain stores all the other uh, stores in the gallery and elsewhere will have the same madness going on but Ganja just cued the music we're going to get into break yeah, breaking yeah. it up right here on the table the history of 420 inspired kicks so we start out in 2004. Wow, take it back. Although, although Adidas and Vans have done a great job of using hemp on their uppers for quite a while, I'm not sure if they've released any uh, celebrate any design celebrating a specific holiday with them. So this is kind of like the first. In 2004, Nike SB released three uh, low-top dunk shoes, the uppers entirely made of hemp. And it came in three different colorways, uh, accenting on the swoosh and the outsole, being cascade blue, which is here on the table tonight, and uh, also a mahogany red, and then the rarest, a bonsai green, which was limited to 420 Are pairs. we passing it right now? We're oh, passing we're, we're passing it, it passing down. You're passing it, it Pass it, so on pass it to the left hand side. Yeah. Oh, right. if, if I had look, look, pass, pass. I only bought one tonight, <laughs> but if I had two, you could take two and pass. Look, hey, look, hey. pass, pass. Hey. But, um, you know, and then we had a little hiatus uh, from the 420 inspired shoe. And then in 2010, our good friend Todd Bratrude uh, dropped this gym, the Skunk Dunk. Now, I remember us I over remember there that. at A-Front. Yeah, we were at A-Front when this skunk dunk finally hit the uh, the consumer streets. It looks dank. It, 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 has, a, oh, yeah. it has a little furry... I said dank, I meant dunk. It has <laughs> a furry green suede upper with a purple accent on the swoosh and the outsole. Uh, for all of you that don't know what the swoosh is, that's the infamous Nike check. It's also got little uh, orange hairy stitching on it. And the insole, uh, if somebody wants to take it out and show it to the oh, camera, yeah. has an illustration from Todd Bratrude of a skunk, a green skunk. Definitely. I remember so, those like it was yesterday. But you know what they say about your short-term memory. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Speaking of short-term memory, uh, the next shoe in 2011 dropped in true stoner fashion. Uh, didn't show up on time for 420, and that's the Cheech and Chong dunk. Uh, which features a uh, red bandana and since it dropped a little late it uh, quickly became the Cinco de Mayo instead of the Cheech and Chong but for those of you that uh, know uh, it has a white canvas upper it's got the red bandana accent on the heel but when you scratch or scuff the shoe there's a green underlaying on the entire shoe which is a unique uh, aspect to that particular sneaker. This skunk needs a no Dorito doubt. Bell uh, a Dorito Taco. Taco. <laughs> Dorito Locos. Needs, yeah, I need some Doritos. That's <laughs> this, it, this skunk looks hungry. So the very, the very also dropping last year was the Huff Hupper pack. Yep. Uh, which yep. had a camouflage uh, leave aspect to it. You know, our good friend Huff was on here for a sneak of the week, and so he dropped his little pack sealed in a plastic baggie. No yeah, doubt. sealed in a plastic baggie. This year he didn't drop shoes, but he dropped socks and a uh, couple of T-shirts. Look believe, at this with the model. Uh, what is her name? Her name is Christina Rose. Christina Rose. Yes, and she is on the uh, very special. You don't really see Huff do a lot yeah. of uh, uh, girl shirts, but yeah, this she's is got, a nice one. She's got a few roses on her socks there. I think that's. I don't know if that's a rose or not, but um. Yeah, it's a great t-shirt. You can find it at both uh, Southside Skate Shop 
and Southside Skate Park, Southside Skate Shops in Sugarland, and Southside Skate Parks out there by uh, Hobby Airport. So be looking to pick those up. That's where that's where you can grab it. Also, the five panel hat there. In two can, colorways. Yeah, you can find all their info on Twitter at Southside HTX. But we're going to get to this year's Nike SB 420 shoe, yep. uh, which was actually, I have a little nugget of information <laughs> here ah. that was passed on to me before the show. These were colored up by our local Nike SB rep here in the Southwest. Really? Because Todd Bratrude uh, took a leave from Nike SB. So, you know, Todd had, had been designing so many great shoes for, for Nike SB, including the Badunka Dunks, the Sin Helps, the Skunks. Uh, but he's no longer with the company, so they had to leave it in somebody else's hands. And what they did is they took the classic colorway from 2004 and basically placed it on today's most popular signature skateboarding silhouette, and that is the Stefan Janowski Bonsai. Real quick, Zubair. Real, Zubair, Adam. real quick, I, it's so funny Available. you brought that up. My man, LZ, Lance Zerline, of course, you'll catch him every morning, Monday through Friday, on Sports Talk 790. He wants us to cop him a pair of Janowskis. Oh, that's what's up, man. This is the perfect one. Exactly, exactly. So, LZ, if you're listening right now, they are on the table tonight for our very special look at the 420. These are fresh. Size size for daily nine use. Nine and a half. For Straight daily from. use. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, uh, you know what, man? We got him. We don't have them on the table, but we got to mention, because it is 420, and because the homie, the spitter, Currency, Smoke Dizza, who's also down with the oh, Diamond yeah. Fan, I and heard he's up loud. Town tonight. I think he is. Yeah, and shout out to my good friend Tariq, the video freak, video editor of Double XL Magazine, who will be over at Warehouse Live filming the show tonight. Really? Yes. You can tell. Yes. Awesome. Cannot wait to see Tariq. I wish he was here tonight. Yeah, me too, but he's setting up over there at Warehouse. Very good, very good. Well, that is one of the greatest video editors video producers there in the business and one of the greatest attorneys yeah we saw him out at uh the adidas dwight howard party with levi maestro we're not gonna Orlando. talk about dwight howard tonight it's all good vibes right now it's 420 i don't want to bring down anybody's buzz on 420 talking about dwight howard and how he won't play another game because his boo-boo hurts oh, 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 oh. sorry I'm sorry it's okay I can't stand he's butt hurt man Stop being he's, gonna, he's gonna go home. He's gonna eat his. Well, cookies. let's mention He'll currency. Right. He's got a collab with Diamond. We tried to get the sneakers on the table. We oh, couldn't get them too, on. Oh, they're too too rare to get them on the table. I know. But I hear they're dropping tomorrow along with the beautiful T Jet Life to the Next Life. Nick did it once again. Uh, two sneakers. I believe it's called the Brilliant, the High and the Low. Uh, I believe both the low tops are white. You can get it with either black print or green print. And then the high tops are green with white print or black with white print. Very similar to the Huff. Yes, and they're very similar to the Converse Chuck Taylor as well. Classic silhouette with the diamond and leaf uh, camo print on top. But each are limited to 420 pairs and will be sold sold out probably tomorrow on diamondsupplyco.com. Better believe it. Better believe it. Just like that show tonight with Currency will probably be sold out too. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, head over to Warehouse Live. If you can't make it over here to Junction Bar and Grill, 160 West Gray in the shadow of downtown Houston. We are Sports Wrap Live. We are on Sports Talk 790. It's the bottom of the hour. And if you're out there having a good time for your 420 holiday at midnight tonight, I got to tell you, lock this man's number into your phone. He is Gary Trichter. And it's not just about drinking and driving. It's about being under the influence one way or another. So make sure you guys have a non-drinking, non-stone designated driver or take a cab or a limo. Or if you're here at Junction Bar and Grill and you can't make it over there to Warehouse Live, just lay it down here in the Junction RV and we'll come get you later on, I promise you, because it's going to cost you a lot less than having to call Gary Trichter. But if you do decide to drink and drive and get it crunk, do not have any open containers of alcohol in your car. Follow the traffic laws religiously and do not give the officer a reason to stop you. If you do get stopped, you're going to have to answer questions. He's not going to let you call your lawyer and you're going to be on video. So continue to be polite and ask your lawyer before doing any tests because you might want to get drunk tonight because the Rockets are about to lose to New Orleans in New Orleans right now for their sixth straight loss. So continue to be polite no matter how mad you are. Andrew, you might be super happy because you just won brand new shoes, but I don't want you getting pulled over. Okay? I can't get that drunk. 
do not get that drunk. It's going to cost you a grip. It's going to cost you over $12,000. I don't even want to get into it right now because we got so much more to talk about here on the table. So save yourself the headache, save yourself the money and the headache and the hangover and put Gary Trichter's number into your cell phone right now. That's 713-524-1010. Or hit them up on TexasDWILaw.com to get all the rules. All right, right now, the gorilla, Nolan Grind, Killer Kalyan is in the building. I want him to come over here and join us at the table right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got we got a little something on the table tonight that represents Killer as well. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And it's been, hey, you remember, we are kind of big time now, so we got to watch our language. Yeah, we got to watch our... You remember back in the day, yeah. we used to just... We got to know what, what Steve and they've been telling them all. Uh, first, you got to learn how to articulate. Pronounce. Yes. This is the man <laughs> that right. knows how yeah. to articulate. articulate. OG Rat Pack, Brett, you need to articulate that before we get you on the microphone. What? <laughs> see, 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 he does not know how to articulate. Yeah, That's why he's on the microphone. <laughs> all right, Killer, welcome back to Sports Talk Live. Thank we you, are sir. so Rap happy pack, to have you. Rap pack, we're in there. We are in here, man. We are deep tonight. I mean, all we are here. We're all the way to the back of the bar. And uh, before we get into what you've been up to lately, let's finish up with what we got here on the table. Kadoma, uh, why don't you get into this next because we tried to get it on on wow. Sunday. Well, we have a sneak peek of the week here, and this is the brand new Air Jordan 11 Low White Varsity Red and Black, which our executive producer, Bum B, was so kind to bring up here. These are rumored to release on May 5th, so we won't be seeing huh. these for a couple of more weeks, uh, if that even happens. But what this, Mayo, I can see Yeah, it. what this is, is this is the probably... <laughs> Arguably the most popular Jordan signature shoe ever, the one with the patent leather on the toe. Uh, beautiful all-white upper with a translucent red outsole and accent. So, but it's a low top version, what are those? which we what haven't the, seen in a while. Those are the, what, the Concord, is that what they call the bigger ones? Uh, the Concord is the black and white one. Yeah, they, these are uh, like those, but they look like they blew the brains out. Like they blew the top off, you know. So Martinez off, is not a fan. Yeah. yeah, they blew the black Martinez out. Of is him. not a sneakerhead. That's what she said. No, I'm not. No, he. he I'm saying Kobe, Kobe system. system. I'm saying Kobe <laughs> yeah, system. Yeah, he's waiting for right definitely, there. Definitely, definitely. And before we get into the sneak of the week, uh, Killer, you uh, were featured on NiceKicks.com. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They, they, they do the Fade Five every once in a while, and uh, I was so happy to see you on there. And your number one sneaker is a very, very special sneak peek that of the week. The greatest shoe Nike created to me. I love that shoe. That is like the dopest shoe ever. Like when I first seen that shoe, when it came out in the white and the black and the purple colorway. That was the dopest shoe. It's actually like one of the first high-end, high-costing Nike shoes. Actually, if I'm not not wrong. Wasn't Am that I a know? Charles like Barkley? 150. Yes. I'm glad 150 you brought that up. The reason it was in black and orange and purple was because this is the CB34 uh, and this right here is a very, very special all red rip stop edition of this sneaker that our good friend and honorary Rat Pack member Courtney Lee at Courtney Lee 2211 on Twitter donated for the table tonight. Wow. These are game worn sneakers. From the 2011 season, yeah, absolutely, right off the hardwood. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, now, now this was actually 160. I, ironically, mistaken. listed as your top sneaker on Nice Kicks. Yeah, that is that that exact sneaker right there. So I thought it was only fitting to have you. You got your rockets, you know, run it as we yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's got the rockets cap on. The of course he does. Yeah. Of I'm course ripping. he does. H Town to finest right here. Uh, now give us a couple other sneakers real quick that you had on that list before we actually get into our sneaker I had, of the week. Um, I had the tempo on there. I yeah, had the yeah, tempo, yeah. the whole galaxy pack. Stacked up like this yeah, tall. The whole the galaxy galaxies. pack. Um, the Air Max. Um, I, I pretty much, I went, I was going off and they just pretty much picked the, picked the main ones but like when I was coming up I just really felt like a lot of the shoes that was below 100 I, I didn't rock with them. I was in the 150 club. Huh. 150, 160 Baller. club. Baller. Baller. That's what I had to do. But that, that's ironically, though, the crazy thing, I have all my originals still. But we see you rock them on stage from time to time. I'm coming for that crown. My uncle got Ooh. that crown, man. I got that crown. I'm, I'm just trying to get close to the throne. I'm watching the throne right now. <laughs> I, I think you're, uh, you're at the dinner table. For sure, I'm watching. Sure. We know we know you're a big sneakerhead. 
Now, uh, let's get into the sneak of the week because I want to talk about what you're into. And we got a special guest that called in that I want to get on the line while we're all here. Wow. So, uh, guys, you got a drum roll for us? Remember that old uh, Sports Rock Live H-Town Sneaker Summit, sneak of the week, number 140. 140. That's a big number. It ain't 420, but it's 140. What is it, Kadoma? The Nike Air Force One Max Air VT Camo. Boom! Wow, yes, so let's break break up the name here on the table. Yep. The Nike yep. Air Force One is Nike's classic basketball silhouette, the f- very first basketball shoe to feature an encapsulated air sole unit in the heel. It becomes Max Air by extending that air sole unit visibly throughout the entire uh, smoke gray translucent midsole. So you can see the air bubble from heel to toe on this sneaker. Uh, it also features, I think it's a uh, somewhat, somewhat of a synthetic camo upper. I can't even see it. It's which, invisible. Well, it's vacuumed onto the upper of the shoe. Uh, that's what VacTech stands for. It kind of gives the shoe a seamless uh, appearance. You, you're very hard-pressed to find any stitching on this sneaker at all. Uh, other than the synthetic uh, camo upper, the only other things on here is premium leather on the black eye stay the tongue tag and the heel which are embossed with the classic nike air logo uh 30 years man 30 yes 30 years years. and you can you can tell that by the lace lock the metal lace lock at the bottom of the laces has three x's on it to commemorate 30 years of this air force one silhouette in 2012 so this is a quick strike release which kind of flew under the radar we recently just saw pictures of this online maybe a week or two ago and the reason that it got under i think i showed you these online when we were in new orleans yeah yeah but usually late here lately we've been seeing shoes months in advance but this one kind of snuck under the radar because i believe the color on the box is black black so I'm sure people read that color code, huh. all the bloggers, and they're thinking, Black, Black Air Force that box is huh. sweet. You know? So it kind of flew under the radar. But these will release tomorrow on 420 for an MSRP of $200. Wow. Two yeah. bills. Yeah. Two bills. Shout out to Unk. Wow. Wish I could buy some uh, $200 hunting shoes. <laughs> We're out there hunting for sneakers. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and we are going to talk some NBA. You want to talk some NBA? You know I want to talk some NBA. I know you want to talk some NBA, but right now we got to go to break. All right, it's our last break of the night. Killer, you stay right there. Kadoma, you stay right there. We're going to get into some NBA, and we're going to get my man Terminology, who is on the line, to tell us what he's working on when we get the out. Oh, yeah. Oh, we already. You see how we do that? I tell you to show up. We bring friends on. All right, the Velvet Rope is open. The Sports Wrap Lounge is packed here at Junction Bar and Grill, and we're going to take it till 10 o'clock, so make sure you guys stick around. When we get back, we will bring terminology on with Killer Kali on, Kadoma, Andrew Martinez, DJ Gons, myself, yes, sir. and of course the executive producer, Bun B. So you guys stick around. We'll be right back here on Sports Wrap Live. Everyone wave. Everyone wave. Hey. Everyone wave. 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 Goodbye to the Rockets. Wave. Oh. Don't wave. wave. Look at the little boy come up crying. Is that break him into? And held the shell Houston Are they officially eliminated if they lose? For a little smoother no. Round. Try the Cypress course. Either way, either course, you'll have a great time. For tea times, go to cypresswood.com. That's cypresswood.com. Never one to put things lightly. Carmelo Anthony's ego is completely out of control. You, sir, are a chucker. Charlie Palillo. A hefty dose of opinion on your drive home. There's no question about that. Tomorrow afternoon at 3 on Sports Talk 790. The Home Depot has a new lower price on Roundup Extended Control Pump and Go Weed and Grass Killer. It's now just $19.97. So you can kill unwanted weeds and grass quickly and mercilessly without them coming back for up to four months, all while letting your budget thrive. It's another way you get more spring per dollar. Roundup Extended Control Pump and Go, now just $19.97. More saving, more doing. 
That's the power of the Home Depot. U.S. only. See store for details. Are you just looking for a reason to get away? It's easier than you think when you rent from Toyota Rent-A-Car of Houston. Offering vehicles like the larger, roomier Highlander, which seats seven. Or go green with great MPG and hybrid options. Toyota Rent-A-Car of Houston has cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, and hybrids for every rental need. With 14 convenient locations, call 281-4-TOYOTA or visit rentatoyotahouston.com to reserve yours today. Toyota Rent-A-Car of Houston, proud sponsor of Just Getting Away. It's not just a rental, it's a Toyota. Dan Patrick here for TexasDirectAuto.com and their innovative Sell Us Your Car program that cuts through all of the BS involved with selling your car to an individual or another dealer. They'll give you the best deal for your car and get you in and out hassle-free. They'll even pay you the same day with your Texas title. Or are you wondering what your car is really worth? Fill out the online appraisal form at TexasDirectAuto.com and we'll get back to you with an estimate quickly. It's easy. Go to TexasDirectAuto.com today. Don't miss the Pasadena Gun Show this weekend only. Hundreds of tables of guns, knives, ammo, and supplies. Call 817-732-1194 or go to HoustonAreaGunShows.com. Don't miss the Pasadena Gun Show at the Pasadena Convention Center this weekend only. Motorists, give our kids a break this spring and let's spell that B-R-A-K-E. This message courtesy of Air World Transmission, located at 1211 Upland in Houston. For all of your transmission service and replacement needs, manual or automatic, call Air World Transmission at 713. 713- 465-1871. Jenkins Barbecue and Hitchcock reminds all drivers to please slow down and drive carefully this spring season, especially around the parks, playgrounds, and schools where the youngsters will be at play. This message is courtesy of Jenkins Barbecue at 7303 Phelps and Hitchcock, where they invite you in for great food and delicious barbecue. Stop in 7303 Phelps for fast and friendly service and bring the family to Jenkins Barbecue. And don't forget to ask about their daily specials. Sports Talk 790, Houston's only all day live and local sports station. Uh huh. Uh huh. When do I come in, Sat? Uh. Okay. Welcome back to Sports Rap Live, everybody. You are hearing the brand new Static Selecta terminology track. Let's start a ride. Uh, I just hopped off another plane, another country, different money, a lot of different names, a lot of different places, a lot of different things. A lot of people could have got lost in the rain. A uh, lot of cars, a lot of trains, a lot of passport stamps, whole lot of games. But I ain't gon' let nobody take me Man. down You need a hundred rounds, can't nothing stop me now I put a lot of rappers in boxes and funerals Treated them wild like a red-headed stepchild I ain't scared of a soul Yeah, 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 yeah. Terminology, you on the line right now? I ain't scared of the ground, you came for me now Yo, what's up, T? Hey, man, what's going on, baby? There he is, there he is Hey, welcome to Sports Rap Live, man We're just listening to that new track with you and Static Selector What's up, man? Thanks for having me, dog. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, you know, Bun B is in the building, the executive producer, the Trillo G. He is here, live in effect, in Houston, Texas, to holla at you. What up, twin? What up, twin? Not too much, man. Yo, this new single is sounding good, man. Static Selector and yourself, you know, as a group. I don't know if a lot of people know, but you guys are called 1982 as a group, and you release albums under that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, tell me, what, what was the thought process behind naming the group 1982? 
Uh, me and Static were both born in the same year, 1982. And it was Static's idea because every time we did a song together, the internet would, you know, say, yo, Stat and Term, y'all need to do an album together. So, you know, I was like, let's do it. So I was like, work, we got it done, and now we got hella fans, so it was a great idea. And this is the second album, right? Yeah, this is off the second album. It's called 2012. And um, so I'm excited for it, man. It comes out May 22nd. Now you got a presidential theme. I was looking at the different pictures on the singles and the artwork connected to the project. You, y'all got like a presidential theme. Like, what's up with that? I mean, we're just trying to ride the wave, you know? Uh, you know, with the whole politics, you know, the whole um, election being this year and whatnot. So, you know, we got like a political theme where we're going to do like term and stat, you know? There's like running mates and all that. So, you know, shout out to big homie DZ, man. He came up with the concept and we thought it was dope, so we ran with it. All right, now, uh, nice. hey, that's what's up on the music, but uh, you're also a sports fan, is that correct? Absolutely. All right, now we're, we're knee deep right now in the end of the NBA season. We got to get into some NBA talk right now. We got my Uh-oh. man Killer Gorilla, Killer Kalyan, Bun B, Kadoma, Andrew Martinez, DJ Gons, the whole rap pack. We are here. So why don't, uh, why don't you right off the top tell us uh, who you're pulling for right now? I mean, uh, all I know is yesterday Celtics won the division, so you know. That's all I got to say. Three's up. Team time in the building. Let's go. I knew he was going to come up with that. He, that's all he been talking about. Like, I'm going to call in today, but you know we're going to be talking about the division clinch today. I'm like, you know, you rep in Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that, Lawrence. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sure the Lawrence boys got love for the Boston boys down there. Yes, sir. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Yo, but what's up with them Rockets today, bud? Well, I don't know if you want to ask Bun or if you want to ask the guy that's about to win a brand new pair of Kobe systems, Andrew Martinez. It's over. The Rockets are pretty much officially. It's un- It's not official because they still have like a one. Because it ain't over till it's over. But it's if the Suns win tonight, it's going to be pretty much over. The yeah. one game behind, game behind Utah. There could be a whole game behind Phoenix as well. Phoenix wins the game against uh, the Clippers. But I can't wait until Kadoma size ten, buddy. Size ten. That's what I wear. All right. No think pinks. Well, hey, uh, we got our boy uh, Killer Gorilla, Killer Kali on here at the table. Now, he is a huge Miami Heat fan, and I think the Miami Heat can pretty much wrap up their division tonight. Is that correct? Um, Absolutely. You see it. Yeah. Tom, what's good with you, bro? Yo, what up, Killer? Man, just working, brother. Good to hear from you, man. That music sounding extra good, man. Run it. Run it. <laughs> they know. Now, turn before this 1982 album comes out, because I want to get this out. You just dropped another mixtape, right? Yes, sir. It's called 50 Bodies Part 4. It's on thatpep.com right now. You can download it for free. 50 tracks for free. That's how we do. We work in the 50 Bodies, that means 50 tracks. All new, all original stuff from you, right? Yeah, it's like, what it, what it really is, it's like 50 verses that I thought were really hot. You know, that it was a collection of, you know, stuff I've done with U-Bun and stuff I've done with Stat and all kinds of other people. Premier, you know, just freestyles I've done. And, um, because I do like a couple hundred verses a year because I'm so busy. So I pretty much just pick like the hottest ones that I have right now and put them together and did a few new and, ones. And this is your fourth time putting together 50 verses on a mixtape. Yes, sir. Shout out to Static Selector and DJ that I, you know, on the wheels are still holding that down for me and whatnot. You hear that, Killer? This boy did 50 verses on his mixtape, man. Yeah. Look, come on, man. You're at like 38. Top of it. Yeah, you're like 38, 40. You're getting there, Killer. I'm, I'm getting there, but you know, turn a hard working dude, man. You, you can know, say that again. He's, he's one a hard working dude. dude. People well, in hip hop. Not as hard working as Dwight Howard, as apparently he wants to shut it down now for the rest of the year. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. What's up wow. with this dude, man? This dude is I'm gonna tell you the problem. Once he found out he couldn't play with Jelly Bean, he went to he he, he knew it was a wrap. That's funny. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because I watched the game last night and I was wondering why, you know, why I was making Orlando Magic look so silly and I didn't even realize the whole Dwight Howard thing. Wow. Yeah, I mean this this guy has gone from flip flopper to uh, you know uh, city hero to bad rap to I, I mean I, I I there's not enough titles for this guy and and he's just he's I'm done with him I'm done Dwight Howard see you next year okay shut it down if you want to shut it down I think that's what he's saying to the NBA too I think basically well at least to the Orlando Magic I'm done I'll see exactly. you next year well I, I maybe not with the Magic next year that's exactly what it is you know the reality is and I think he's still quite honestly he's still smarting from the fact that Jeff kind of put him on blast out there 
You know, I mean, exactly. well, supposedly I read today that there was a phone call that he made in the middle of the game to tell the, the Hawks. Yeah, to tell I was the owner of the GM that said that he couldn't play for being good anymore. Done. Like basically, just I'm done. I like, get my coach out of here. And not only yeah. does he miss the rest of the season, but he says no thank you to the 2012 Olympics. Okay, now yeah, you're putting you on the country. Yeah, we don't Quit. tolerate that. No, absolutely not, man. And the dude's got all the talent in the world. He is well known as the best center in the NBA. And this is how he's going out. I hope his teammates. There's no, it's really no class, though, how he's rocking. Absolutely he's not. no class. Absolutely not. So, sir, let me ask you something, man. How, how far do you feel your Celtics are going to go this year? I mean, of course, obviously, you're going to stay all the way. But, I mean, a lot of people are trying to count those guys out. And even against the loss against the Knicks, man, you know, you were Pierce hitting 40-plus points. And, you know, even with, you know, I feel like the only reason they lost was because Rondo wasn't in the game. But that being said, man, Doc and those boys are still looking good, man. Do you think those guys can get past these strong East Coast teams? Do you think they can get past the, 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 the Heats and the Bulls and really make a real run this year? really lost faith, you know, because I knew that they had the talent. I mean, obviously them being old and um and having the crazy schedule this year with the lockout, you know, um I was like, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. But, I mean, seeing the beating that we put on um, Killer Killian's Miami Heat the last two games, it gave me some new confidence. And, you know, uh, look, at that you, look, at look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you. I mean, I think it's, it, it, it's easily attainable to win the East. If you're going to call out Killer Kalyan's Heat, why don't you go ahead and call out the Celtics? I mean, you know, the Ben Gay squad. They, they need to the rub them knees and them elbows and get some of that age and go get them, put their depends on and drink some of that activity. See, see wow. this is what we were talking about earlier. Cause wow. Because, I mean, what's, what's the equivalent of that in hip-hop? That's me he talking about. Nah, right? nah, 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 it's a difference. Uh, see, it's a see, difference. see, this is it's what we talked about. We talked about this earlier today. How to, In the beginning of the season, everybody assumed that the older people wouldn't have the legs to get through the short schedule because you'd have the, 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 the two in a row and the threes, three in a row. But then you look at the Celtics and you look at the Spurs who have all these they older get that, they get that every players time. and they laying boys yeah. down. They, they're handing nah, them their hats right really now. Shooting a, I'm just shooting a, sh a little bit with it. But <laughs> okay. I, I'm the, I'm the fat, fat person to say when it comes, veterans go the longer way. The problem is, is that like I was veterans saying earlier, I think the younger cats refuses like look at uh, uh derrick rose who refuses to sit down when he's when he knows he's hurt when he knows he should rest a game or two but his pride gets in the way that youthful pride gets in the way and he doesn't want to say no i can't perform no i can't compete and what happens is he turns something that's possibly just a light strain into a heavy sprain and then instead of being out resting for a game or two coming back and giving him the business for 10 in a row you go out and play those two games that you shouldn't play and then you're out for two to three weeks and you're hey. hurting your team in the long run Ah, straight from the hook. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, okay, that's up. There yeah, he is. That's just me. All right, all right. So uh, real quick, who uh, who's your favorite in the West? Since we know you're the East Coast guy. I mean, really, I like Oklahoma City a lot. I was um I was rooting for them last year. You know, I mean, obviously I root for the Celtics until until they get banged out. But I think OKC got what it takes to take to take it this year, and and I'm a big fan of them. All right, all right, there it is, there it is. Well, uh, I'm a big fan of you, and we appreciate you jumping on. Of course, we saw you out there hustling at South by Southwest. And uh, anytime you want to join us during the NBA playoffs to see how the geriatric green guys are doing out there in Boston, I kid, I kid, I'm just piling on now. The killer got it in. Uh, but anytime you want to join us, man, the line's always open for you, brother. All right, man, good looking out. Yo, OG, thanks, man. Love you, bud. You know the deal. Killer, what up, man? Love hey. y'all be easy. Always yeah. good time in Texas, tell, man. Tell us one more time where we can find that new tape. Uh, you could go on thatpiff.com right now and download the new mixtape, 50 Bodies Part 4, hosted by Static Select and DJ Dead Eye, and it is free. 50 songs for free. Go get it. Easy. Love y'all. Go to get it. Go get it. You know what else you want? I want you to go get Act Bad Magazine, and it is going to hit the streets of Houston. They got a very, very special release party coming up, and I'm going to give you all the information right now. It is April 27th from 9 to midnight. It is a very exclusive crowd that's going to be there, and it's at 3101 San Jacinto on the way to Sports Rap Live. So make sure you guys check it out. April 27th, Act Bad Magazine. And there is no bad rap tonight because we are all good vibes for 420. We're going to crack open the cupcakes and get this party started as we head over to Warehouse Live for Currency, Smoke Dizza, Styles P, and you never know who else might jump up on stage. <coughs> 
Bun B. Uh, just saying, executive producer. Hey, no bad rap either for the big show on Sports Talk 790 with Matt, Adam, and Lance. Make sure you guys keep it locked for the drive to work tomorrow morning as you're waking up sleepy-eyed as they keep the Sports Talk on deck as well as the debut of Cook and Kalu from 10 to 11 a.m. on Sports Talk 790, just like we do every Thursday and Sunday night right here on Sports Rap Live on Sports Talk 790 and iHeartRadio. See you guys and gals on Sunday night for a brand new Sports Rap Live Sunday wrap-up. Until then, that's a wrap. Yeah. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, it's Matt Thomas, and I've got way Clear, clear. Have a good night. Thanks, Thanks Amanda. Uh, Thanks, honey. Tonight. Gas for your car. Oops. Be listening for the cue to call to win all this gas at Holmes Road Recycling Gate. Rap Pack, make some noise for yourselves out there. We packed it. We packed it tonight. Make it hey, I see you. You heading over there? It's time for B's okay. Weekly Cues. B's Weekly Cues after dark. Sports Rap Live after dark. Hey, round of applause to Pat Summit, ladies and gentlemen. 38 years. Go ahead, Roosh. My boy Roosh Williams in the building tonight. Don't forget, hey, we're going to be talking about it on air, but May 6th. It's a Sunday night right after Sports Wrap Live. Emilio Rojas and very special guest brought to you by Lunaface and many, many more. I, I, I don't even have a flyer in front of me, but the Breaking Point Tour is coming to Houston May 6th. You hear my man all over. Thank you very much. You hear my man all over Shade 45. DJ Rapid Rick, Roos Williams, Josh Salee, Uzi, Dex, and much, much more at the engine room. We're bringing the engine room back 1515Ps at La Branch. Get your tickets online at EmilioHTX.Eventbrite.com. We'll be telling you much more about this, but tonight we're heading over to Warehouse Live for Currency Spinner. Thank you guys for coming out. Rat Pack in the building. Salute.